Street Beast family. What's up, y'all? Face with you. Wanted to drop in real quick just to touch base on a subject kind of important to me. Um, we had had uh, a North Carolina event <clears throat> not too not too far back. Lord Bestabon with his pop-up events. He's kind of making his way everywhere. So uh, one or two of the fights in particular got some hate because the guys in the fights were seen as not as skilled. So I want to throw this out there. Street Beefs is and always will be a place where anybody of any skill level can come fight. As long as you're at least 18 years old with no health issues, you're allowed to come try your hand at Street Beefs. We've literally got matchups for anybody of any skill level. Um, we've had guys that have never been in a fight in their life. And we have guys that literally have been so skilled, they went and signed with uh, Anthony Pettis, you know, um, and everything in between. We've got guys that have won Golden Gloves, guys that have won the Tough Man, guys that have won belts in amateur MMA. Then we got guys who have been in one or two high school fights. So it's a big variety with street beefs, and I think that's what makes us unique. I'm never going to change that. It's always going to be, you know, Everybody's welcome. Everybody's skill level, everybody of any skill level is welcome at Street Beefs. Um, I can't tell, I, I've learned over the years, we really can't tell people how to react to certain videos. You know, they're going to say what they have to say, but we don't let the fighters get bashed. Um, you know, our mods are real good about that. We got about 60 moderators now. They go through and make sure that the comments are respectful. Um, nobody should be bashed for coming out and giving fighting a shot, okay? You got to understand something. Some of these folks have beefs. That's the first thing. And the way Street Beef started was on beefs. And with a beef, it may be two guys who are construction workers who have never trained to fight, but they want to fight each other. Okay, so they're not going to come out and look like pro fighters. Um, it may be two guys who have barely ever fought before, but because they have a beef, they want to solve it. Or it may be two guys who, you know, just want to come and experience a fight, but they're not trained, but they want to see what it feels like to, to have a fight. And that's okay, too. You know, um, we want to give a place for everybody to come experience a fight. And we try to make sure everybody's matched up appropriately. Now, we've had people say, oh, well, this is a mismatched and this is a mismatched. We base our matchups off of A, what the fighter reports as his experience level, and B, if we've seen them fight before, if they fought with us before, or they have any video footage of themselves fighting. Um, these times where you see mismatches, well, you see mis so-called mismatches in the UFC. For example, Conor McGregor, Jose Aldo. If you didn't know anything about those guys' backgrounds and you just watched the fight, you would swear it was a mismatch. Aldo gets knocked out in like 16 seconds. You'd be like, man, who put these two together? McGregor's clearly better. But on paper, the fight looked like a good matchup. Um, and, and that's the thing. A lot of times we'll take what the fighters report or we'll look at their fights and say, okay, they're pretty equal. Let's put them together. Now, there is times where, you know, a guy with a lot more fights gets matched up with somebody without a lot of fights. And here's why that happens. Sometimes we'll have a fighter come in who's never fought before, but he reports to us, hey, look, dude, I've fought 20 times amateur I've been training for seven years. I'm extremely experienced, so on and so forth. So he may be 0 and 0 in the yard, but based on what he's reporting, we feel like we have to match him up with somebody's skill. Because if he tells us all of that, we say, well, okay, he's reporting, you know, he's fought 15 times amateur and he's trained for seven years, but we're going to go ahead and match him up with somebody else who's 0 and 0. That's that's not making things equal. Now, unfortunately, sometimes when, when somebody reports all that and we put them against one of our experienced guys, 
he still loses. But we did that based on what they tell us. If anybody's ever watched the, the live streams of us doing matchups, we ask the fighters, what's your background? What's your experience level? And we tell the fighters when we give them a matchup, you do not have to take this matchup. Last thing, with beefs, with beefs, two people that have disputes, we have about five or six beef fights every event, okay? And with them, you know, skill level and training is out the window. If two men have a dispute they want to solve, we don't concern ourselves with the skill level. If they both want to solve their dispute, we try to let them solve it, you know? Uh, now, if we know there's a big experience gap, we keep a close eye and stop it when it needs to be stopped. But that's pretty much it. So, listen, questions, comments, leave them below. Um, we got Esteban, Sunshine, they monitor the comments, as well as a bunch of mods, so somebody will get to you. We appreciate all y'all that support us. Much love. Big event coming October 2nd, y'all. Peace.